have we actually seen the end of Ray Palpatine? Yes, I know. I said Palpatine because that's really her name. Not Skywalker. She stole that. And I'll never forgive her for that. And I'll never forgive Disney for giving her that name. But let's get right on into this. Daisy Ridley comments on Ray's Star Wars future. This is the stuff of nightmares if she's not done with Star Wars. Uh, it goes on to say, actor Daisy Ridley, uh, actor Daisy Ridley took a crafty approach to the question of whether she would consider reprising her role as Rey in the Star Wars universe. Ridley made an appearance at the 2022's Baptist and was asked on the red carpet about the possibility of ever taking up the mantle of Rey again. I'll always be Rey, the actor responded with a slight chuckle, aware she was being recorded. Ridley followed up the statement with a tongue-in-cheek explanation of soundbite. Um, in 2021, Ridley, Ridley revealed she had recently sat down with Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy for a discussion spurring fan speculation that the actor could be in talks to return as a young Jedi down the road. Ridley has been open in the past about how hard it was for her to leave Rey and Star Wars behind. One stating, I really felt like I was grieving something. They were my people for so many years. Well, I'll tell you this. As a Star Wars fan, Daisy Ridley, we would prefer you gone. We'd prefer you gone. We would prefer never to hear the words Ray Skywalker or the sequel trilogy or whatever that was that was Luke Skywalker in any of those films, which that was not the Luke that we loved. It was some, I don't know, weird, dark fantasy from someone who had never watched Star Wars their entire life, but they just wanted to make, they just wanted to hate on fans by making that Luke Skywalker. And then to add injury to insult, then they give a Palpatine, a freaking Palpatine, the the mantle of Skywalker, the last name of Skywalker, which is so ridiculous, so ridiculous and such a slap in the face to fans. The idea, it would not shock me, would not shock me if Kathleen Kennedy would have the guts to do this, if she would be so stupid to do something like this and bring Ray, Ray back. Um, it sounds like something she would do. Sounds like something Disney Star Wars would do. But is it necessarily something that we as fans would want to see? And I would say no. That's a big, big no when it comes to that. Uh, Daisy Redling, nothing against her, against her as an actress, but personally hated her character, such a one-dimensional character that I'm uh, probably one of the worst one-dimensional characters. She is in that movie... What you would teach uh, script writers and just writers in general how not to make a character like her because it was so one-dimensional, such a terrible, terrible character that uh, it wasn't, she was never likable. Uh, fans never took to her, and yet they kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And then to add injury to insult, then what did they do? They blasted fans calling them sexist because they didn't like this boring character of Ray Skywalker, who had a generic story, uh, kind of of Luke's story, but just really generic version of that same story. So no, I do not want to see her ever, ever again. Um, it says in addition to playing Ray in the mainland films, Ridley reprised her role in several other franchise offshoots. She provided the voice for the character in video games such as Lego Star Wars. Cool with that. Absolutely cool with that. She can be in that, just not something that I'm actually going to play or watch. Uh, the Force Awakens and Star Wars Battlefront 2. And she was even featured in Star Wars Rise of the Resistance theme park attraction. Absolutely cool with her making appearances in that. Lend your voice. Lend your voice. Me personally, I would rather to retcon that whole sequel trilogy and pretend it never existed that it was like in some kind of alternate world that where, I don't know, Palpatine survived. Um, 
there's so many things that was wrong with the sequel trilogy that the idea that you place it as Kanan is absolutely it's almost sinister. It really truly is. It's almost sinister on the part of Disney that they wouldn't make that Kanan. That was clearly a money grab. Uh, everything that they did was wrong. Everything. They ruined everybody from Leia to Luke uh, to Han Solo. Uh, and then they ruined a lot of the characters that they even tried to, to introduce us to in the first place. And it just... Look, I thought Finn uh, had potential, but again, Disney didn't want to do anything with his character. There was a lot of characters that maybe did have potential in the sequel trilogy that they either used as comic relief or just really forgot that they even existed. Uh, and that is where Disney goes so wrong. And just so please, please, Daisy Ridley, stay away from Star Wars. Please. Stay away from Star Wars. Tell Kathleen Kennedy. To shove it. Tell her that you'll never play such a terrible role. Ever again. In anything. As long as she is there. At Lucas Films. And. Um, just let it be. Let it be. Let us as Star Wars fans forget. That that sequel trilogy exists. That's all I ask Daisy Ridley. That is all I ask as a Star Wars fan. Don't want to see you back. Don't want to see any character from the sequel trilogy back. Just don't. Anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Do you think you will see Rey again in a Star Wars film? What do you think the backlash from Star Wars fans would be if you do? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content and our answer us, please like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. And also check us out on Rumble and on Minds. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll take care.